Good morning, Covenant Presbyterian Church, our family and our friends and visitors to uh, this video. I come to you live from the actual church building this morning where I am in the Roberts room that's normally uh, where we socially gather before Sunday morning worship and catch up with each other. But this morning it's eerily quiet and silent as our campus is uh, closed for outside visitors uh, and internal groups as well. So it seems almost ironic that I sit in the place where we gather uh, on Sunday mornings to greet one another and catch up on life events to be very, very silent. So in that, um, I wanted to check in with you all and hopefully send you daily uh, devotional videos from different places within the church. If I'm here in the office or if I'm at home, you might get to see my study or my own kitchen table and things of that nature. Um, but I'm excited to be able to come to you in spirit when we can't gather physically. We often um, tell our children that uh, the rhyme is, you know, here's the church, here's the steeple, look inside and you find the people. Uh, kind of did that backwards. Um, but um, our building is not our church. It is Christ's body that gathers. And so I'll invite you each day this week and including on Sunday for worship to join our spirits together across different locations um, to become the church in a different way, very much like the early church had to do in their times. And in doing so, I'm always going to ask you to light a candle, whether that's a real candle or a candle that um, is electronically powered. Uh, to remind you that there is always light in the midst of darkness, that that candle never dims because that is Christ's hope for us. So no matter where we are, uh, this light can provide us hope and faith and love and joy, knowing that our spirits connect when we physically cannot be together as a church. So with that, I also want to invite you this week to send me pictures each day of where you see light and hope of God among you in your location. Now that may be states away, that may be countries away, that may be in your home office, at your kitchen table, um, in your living room with a beloved pet, with a beloved uh, spouse or family member. And so we are looking for those pictures to see where hope and light still find their way to us during these days. You can send me your pictures by email uh, at pastor at cpcsherman.org or you can send them to my cell phone if you have that number as well text them to me i'd like to hopefully put together a collage each day for us to show uh, where we are connecting with light and hope uh, in our locations so i'm hoping you can do that um, if you do that on social media just make sure you tag us at cpc sherman and i'll make sure uh, i monitor that for your photos that come in that way so what does this mean? I'd like to all you know, catch up with you every day so that our spirits can connect in that way. Um, I'm also working on Sunday school videos for those who are studying Adam Hamilton's The Walk during Lent. I'd like us to continue that walk even though we are apart. Um, for those who are in Bible study, I'm working on videos to continue and finish up the book of Daniel with each of us so that we can not leave Daniel behind in his lurch uh, as he's looking for the end of days as well. Um, in our daily devotionals, there'll be small videos each day on multiple platforms for you to be able to access and um, center yourself into the ritual of connecting our spirits across um, divides. And so I'm hoping that you take those devotionals that can give you a start to your, to your morning or to your day or to or close at the evening of your day to help remind you that nothing, absolutely nothing, separates us from the law of God in Jesus Christ and each other. With that, our Sunday worship service will also be uh, uh, in multiple formats for those who don't have Facebook, don't panic, you'll still be able to worship with us. We're gonna gather at our normal time, which is 10.50 every Sunday morning, to watch that video or to join the Facebook watch party where we can watch that video together and chat together in real time as we worship together. Um, and so look out in your email for directions about how to do that. 
Um, if you don't have Facebook, don't panic. You can still watch the worship service through our YouTube channel, and that will give you access to worship with us in that way. So we're trying to make sure we reach as many of you on multiple platforms as we can so that we can make sure that Christ's light shines with us all at this point. I'm wearing green today. Um, it is St. Patrick's Day. It's also a, an ordination anniversary day for me, and I'm excited to leave you with this blessing from St. Patrick. So let us hear the words of St. Patrick on this day to give us hope and light. May Christ shield us today, Christ with us, Christ before us, Christ behind us, Christ above us, Christ on our right and Christ on our left, Christ when we lie down, Christ when we sit, Christ when we stand, Christ in the heart of everyone who thinks of us, Christ in the mouth of everyone who speaks of us, Christ in every eye that sees us, Christ in every ear that hears us, and may it always be so. Amen. I'll see you tomorrow.